You've probably used biofuel in the past. All the gas you can buy at the gas station contains some amount of bioethanol in it. I instead focused on biodiesel, the renewable form of conventional diesel fuel, and it's better for the environment. And what I did was I took biodiesel and recreated it. Hi, my name is Stephen Liu and I'm currently a senior at Shadyside Academy in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Let's talk more about biodiesel. Biodiesel currently is produced all using canola oil or soybean oil. Now this comes with some major drawbacks. It requires a lot of cropland, which is better suited for producing food for people. I instead used algae, which doesn't require any land. And this algae can be harmful, but when used correctly, we can extract the oil from the algae and make biodiesel using this. And what I did was I used computer-based modeling to simulate producing biodiesel from algae. And what I found was that I can minimize the cost of algae-based biodiesel to 10% lower than conventional diesel. Now, this is unheard of. If you go to the gas station, the prices of biodiesel will be much higher than diesel. And my product is actually less expensive while not requiring any cropland. And this means that all those semi-trucks on the road transporting goods, those will be 77% more efficient and emit fewer greenhouse gases than currently. That's great for the environment. Okay, now enough about my project. Let's talk more about me. So in my free time, I love to build and to make things. One of my recent projects was to make a lightning machine. Yep, you heard that correctly. A lightning generator. Now this lightning machine is called a Tesla coil. It can generate three feet long lightning bolts and it's 10,000 times higher voltage than your wall outlet. I have a part of it here with me. So this thing is only half of it and it's actually the top. So from here, it will shoot three feet long sparks of electricity towards the ground. Now, of course, when using this, I have to stay very far away uh, so I don't get zapped. Now, the next part might surprise you a little bit because it kind of contradicts my mission to solve or slow down climate change. I also love race cars, uh, including Formula One or IndyCar. And my most recent Lego build was this McLaren Senna, which is a very fast production car. But race cars are very inefficient. So my mission is to actually convert all of these race cars into renewable fuel, perhaps maybe even into the algae-based biodiesel that I made. And currently Formula One is trying to transition to do this, and so are some other uh, record-breaking speed cars. But there's still a long way to go, and I'm here to help us along. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day.